Welcome, one and all, to the Tata Meister YouTube channel. It's your boy, the Tata Meister, once again. And I can successfully say I recovered from my horrendous thing that happened last weekend with Brian, but you already saw that video, so. And now I'm going to overcompensate with you all. We're going to have three movie reviews come out in three days. How about that? Wow. One of them is going to be an old movie. One of them is going to be a movie I didn't get a chance to review yet, but I'm going to review now. So, first one is obviously the one you're watching now, Zombieland 2, Double Tap. The next one will be The Shining, which comes out tomorrow. And then the third one will be, of course, Gemini Man, which comes out Tuesday, which I thought was also funny. Not as funny as Zombieland 2, but I digress. So, these are the three videos. I'm going to overcompensate for not making videos. So, three videos will be coming out in three days. So, I think that should satisfy you all, right? Not like you watch my videos anyway, so who really cares? But, um, yes, three movie reviews in three days. The reason I'm reviewing The Shining is because of Dr. Sleep coming out. So I will be doing these videos back to back on the same night, but I'll be posting them as they are. So, yes. So let's get on with the actual review, shall we? Uh, Zombie Land Double Tap. Now, I will be watching Maleficent. Uh, Mistress of Evil later. I just didn't want to go see that right away because I got mixed reviews and I'm not a type of person to go. I mean, Gemini Man was an exception because of Will Smith and it was such a pipe movie of me, but I wasn't so hype about... I mean, I was hype about Maleficent, Maleficent Mistress of Evil, but after the mixed reviews and what it looked like and I just... I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of the... I mean, I am a fan of the first movie, but like, I don't know. I, I can see the problems in the first movie. I just... I don't know. I might go see it. I might not. I have to think about it for a bit, but... We're not talking about Maleficent and Mr. Evil. We're talking about Zombieland. Devil Tap. Let's get on with the actual review, shall we? So, my gosh. <laughs> what could... I mean, really, what's the bad stuff to say about this movie? Zombieland Double Tap is... I mean, don't believe the critics. Don't believe any of the YouTubers. This movie is, like, epic. I mean, this is, like, one of the best sequels I've ever seen. I'm not even joking. This is, like, a worthy successor. Now, this is, like, a Godfather Part 2 sequel or, or an Anchorman 2. It's not quite matches what the first one did but it is a worthy successor let me tell you it is a worthy sequel in fact it is actually i might i might even go far to say this is actually funnier than the first one and the first one's hilarious but i think the first one had a better plot and more heart to it but this one had more jokes and more epic crap in it so i mean each of the movies both zombie lane and zombie lane double tap had its own thing to it and the new characters they had in this was flawless i mean nevada and and Madison were like epic characters, and Madison was like the best part. I say Madison was the funniest character in this movie. I mean, she was everything she said in this movie just make you laugh out loud. I mean, she's like freaking hilarious. But um, all your four main characters came back, of course. We have Columbus played by Jesse Eisenberg. We have Tallahassee played by, of course, the one and only Woody Harrelson. We have uh, Emma Stone's character Wichita. Yeah, Wichita's come back, and of course Little Rock, which is played by Abigail. Levers? I don't know her last name, but yeah. All the old characters came back, and they're awesome. Granted, you're not going to see them all together in this movie a lot. They're only, like, the first part of the movie and the second half of the movie, you see them all together, but, like, you know, there's a lot of parts they're not all together in, which I guess that was one of my negatives. You don't... Like, in the first movie, you see all of them all together in the whole movie, pretty much. They're all together. In this one, they kind of have their own little adventures in this, which is kind of cool. I wasn't expecting it. That's kind of like, like what I loved about Guardians 2, is that each of the Guardians got to shine in the movie, which was... I love that about Guardians 2. In this one, you, you, it's mostly um, it's mostly uh, Tallahassee and Columbus. Like it, they 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 ran they ran into Wachita later. She comes back, but you know, it's mostly just yeah. Little Rock doesn't really come back until like the end. I mean, guess, I don't know if that's a spoiler or not. But um, another thing is, oh my gosh, the after credit scene, guys, <laughs> you were in for a treat. The after credit scene in this movie is like one of the greatest after credit scenes I've ever seen. I mean, it's like it's as good as the Deadpool two after credit scene. I mean, I'm not even joking. It it is phenomenal. The after credit scene is so worth watching. It is like the biggest surprise. I'm not going to spoil what happens in it, but oh my gosh. I was so ecstatic and, and laughing my ass off that after credit scene. It was like the greatest thing ever. I mean, I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. But like, bro, Zombie Land Double Tap is truly an epic sequel. I mean, I can go on all day. I might go see this movie again. I mean, it's like, it's one of those movies you just cannot not go see. I mean, it's like, really. If, I don't know if it was worth the 10 weight or not, but it was like, a worthy successor. I mean, the, it was the same people that made the first one. Ruben Fleischer and all the writers came back and all the actors came back. And man, they gave us another epic, uh, hilarious movie. I mean, I got to say, 
this movie is epic. I mean, 2019 does not really, you know, unimpress me yet. Not even Gemini Man really was that bad. I mean, most of the movies 2019 have been, like, awesome in, in some way or shape or form. Not counting Captive State or Hustler, because I... Captain State was really kind of messed up, and Hustle I didn't, the Hustle I didn't see yet, but everybody said it was terrible, and Hellboy I didn't see yet either. So there's a few movies in 2019 that weren't amazing, but most of them have been amazing, good or great. I mean, most of 2019 has just been awesome, and this this Zombieland 2 just continues that trend. Like, boy, Zombieland Double Tap is truly an epic, hilarious movie. I mean, I loved every part of this movie. It was like great. Ruben Fleischer still got it, boys. I mean, Grant, I don't think Venom was one of his greatest things. I think Venom was a good movie, but it was... It, Venom had a lot of problems, but this is really Return to Firm for Robin Fleischer. I mean, really. He really does shine in his comedy movies. I mean, in Kirby Fleischer's comedy movies is really where he shines. And my gosh, he did an excellent job on Zombieland 2. I mean, this is a worthy success. This is like Angry Man 2. This is like a Equalizer 2. It's a worthy success of the first one, and I'm, I'm glad to say it was awesome. Now, I'm going to get into a couple negatives. Clearly, the Zombieland movies aren't flawless. I mean, they're Zombieland. They're not really meant to be flawless movies. They're meant to be funny, epic, hilariously entertaining movies. But I guess the only few negatives there was, yeah, my main negative was you don't really get all the characters together until the end. There are a lot of parts that are together, but not really. And I guess there's the characters that, you know, you get attached to, but then, like, something happens to them. And, like, a, a couple things, I guess. I don't know. They had a little too many uh, sexual like, jokes, I guess. I don't know. Maybe, there was just a couple. Maybe they overdid it a little bit. I don't know. I don't want really, like talk a negative about Zombieland too, because it's Zombieland. I mean, really. I mean, you're gonna obviously find negative in Zombieland. It's freaking ding dongish as hell. I mean, it's random and dumb. But I mean, that's the whole point of Zombieland, right? It's random and dumb. But I mean, I don't know. I mean, I just think this is a great part of the series, and I really want a third one. I hope they really make another one because I love. I'm just glad I went to go see this in the theater. I'm really happy. I mean. I really had a really great time. This is probably the best time. This is like the second best time I had in the theater other than Endgame. And I'm saying, I mean, I know Joker's a better movie. Joker's a masterpiece. But I'm not going to say, you know, I had a better time there. Joker was just a hard movie and a tough, dark, like, your mind just blew away. But I would say this is like the most entertaining movie other than Endgame this year. I mean, it's that entertaining. It's just pure entertainment value, pure hilarious value. It's just, it's as funny as frick and it's epic as frick. And they have so much great stuff in this. I could go on. I mean, the intro scene to the to the style to everything. It was just great. I mean, granted, there are the few negatives, like I said, but, you know, who really cares? I mean, this movie's great. It's definitely an enjoyable time. So, what do I rate Zombieland Double Tap? Well, you know what? I'm going to give it a 9.3. This movie's a lot of fun, and it's like it's like Shazam. It's just goofy fun, and it's a lot of great fun. I mean, I'd say I give the first Zombieland a 9.4, 9.5, so it is a, little, a tiny bit better than this one, but... Is it really fair to say this isn't as good? I mean, this is almost as good as the first one. I mean, you could barely tell. I mean, it felt like you 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 felt like you didn't even leave. Like Zombieland and this Zombieland Double Tap are like almost the same movie. In fact, it's enhanced the first one. It, this this movie is so worth the wait. I mean, it was so great. I can gush. Zombieland Double Tap was awesome. So, thank you all for watching. The Tatemeister is signing out, and I'll see you all tomorrow in my uh, Shining review. See ya. Bye bye. Adios.